So our next guest is billionaire hedge fund titan John Paulson, who's also backing former President Trump. Joining us now in an exclusive interview is John Paulson, founder and president of Paulson & Company. John, it's great to see you this morning. Uh, it appears that the race has tightened uh, based on uh, both some of the polls and then uh, the betting markets. I know you're very close to the Trump campaign. I'm curious if there are any numbers that you've been looking at specifically or have had access to that others might not uh, that um, you might be able to share with us about how you're thinking about where things stand right now. Yeah, good morning, Andrew. Um, I agree that the uh, race is uh, very tight, but I'm optimistic that the uh, president will win. He has uh, strong support across all segments of uh, Americans. So uh, I, I think he will win, but we'll have to see the results uh, after Tuesday. Um, as an investor, I'm curious what you've done with your portfolio uh, and, and how much you're betting, if you will, uh, that he does win. Uh, folks like Dan Loeb uh, were out just even a couple of weeks ago uh, suggesting that they believed that he would win and therefore was uh, rotating their portfolio to things that they thought uh, would benefit uh, in, a, in a Trump administration. Have you done the same? Uh, we haven't really adjusted the portfolio yet based on the electric, uh, election outcome, but depending on who's elected, uh, I will have uh, adjust the portfolio. You know, under... Uh, Harris's plan, you know, she wants to raise taxes on capital gains, raise taxes on corporations, uh, raise the marginal uh, tax rate. And you, she also had this plan to tax unrealized gain, which seems unprofitable, unprobable, but it's something to be concerned about. So I'd be concerned about being long equities if Harris wins. On the other hand, Trump has a very pro-growth agenda. He wants to uh, reduce government spending, reduce uh, the re regulations, uh, support uh, domestic energy and manufacturing, keep taxes stable. So I think under Trump, it would be more beneficial for the economy and more beneficial for the stock market. And do you believe, I mean, we've talked, I know we've debated uh, the issue of tariffs uh, many a times with you and talked about potentially the inflationary pressures of that. I think one of the real questions is if, in fact, those tariffs were to go into effect and perhaps be used as a negotiating tool or whatnot, whether uh, the offset, which would be perhaps uh, either more drilling um, or, or, or things of that sort, would it really actually offset uh, the impact of those tariffs? Because you look at a lot yeah, of economists a, out there who have suggested that they won't. That's a good question, uh, Andrew. I think you have to look at the overall economic plan. And I think uh, under Trump's overall economic plan, inflation will come down and we'll have a, a higher growth, right. lower inflationary environment than we would have under Harris. What, what? The biggest contributor to inflation is high government spending. And spending under Biden-Harris has been pretty much out of control. Uh, the deficit this year increased to almost two trillion. It's up 14 percent over last year. Uh, and there's no plan from either Biden or Harris to stem the control of government spending. What did you make of Trump um, is, what did, what did you make of Elon Musk? Right. No, I was going to ask you yeah. what you made of Elon Musk's comment uh, that he thought there would be a temporary hardship uh, given the ambitions of the administration uh, to cut spending. Uh, potentially some of the inflationary pressures and other things that that basically that that maybe the transition on the other side might be uh, better, but that there would be pain in the middle. Well, I think uh, big transaction transitions are never easy. And you're right to to bring about the the modest uh, inflationary impact from uh, tariffs to the more major negative inflationary impact from cutting spending. So. Musk at at the rally, he estimated that there's as much as two trillion in government spending that could be released. Even if the number is half that, uh, that reduction in spending would bring down the deficit in half from two trillion to one trillion before uh, offsets resulting from higher revenues from tariffs. So that will have a major impact on inflation. And if you can bring inflation down and increase wages, real wages will increase. Uh, which will benefit all American families. John, we'll know tomorrow. Well, we won't know, but, but it finally happens tomorrow, uh, the voting. But that doesn't uh, stop both camps from uh, 
giving little indications of things that they're seeing internally. I, I don't know if you, you must be following it very closely, as close as you are to the, uh, the Trump campaign. I'm just wondering whether you can uh, give us any, uh, any color uh, on uh, Wisconsin. I'm, I'm told that maybe Wisconsin's closer than people thought, but it, given what happened with Iowa and that the Des Moines Register and the Seltzer a poll showing uh, Vice President Harris actually up in Iowa. So I don't know what that says about Wisconsin. I don't know what, what you do. Pennsylvania is probably the most important state. And for a while, it looked like it was firmly um, or at least likely that Trump might win. But uh, there's some inroads made in early voting, supposedly by women. I've even heard Virginia and New Hampshire, according to um, sources that, that uh, Harris camp is concerned about those two states. Do you know anything internally from, uh, from the Trump campaign? Yeah. Hi, Joe. Yes, it's clearly a very close race, but we have, I have seen some private internal polling that was done over the weekend after the Iowa polling, and it shows Trump uh, leading in almost all the, either leading or tied in all the swing states. So I'm, 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 you know, cautiously optimistic that that's uh, not Atlas. That's yeah. internal Trump. That's internal polling from the organization because Atlas International, it, I, which 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 yeah. some people like, uh, other people they say it was good in 2020, but other people don't like it as much. But the, he was ahead in all those swings that or tied uh, as well. Yeah, there's different pollers, but this was uh, private polling uh, private outside polling. the campaign. Okay.